Hello and welcome to IT Simplified. In today's session, we are going to analyze real-time data all by utilizing Azure Stream Analytics. So let's get started. For this demonstration, we are going to use online Raspberry Pi simulator to generate data, which will be ingested into IoT Hub. Azure Stream Analytics will receive the data from IoT Hub, which will be transformed and queried. And then that data will be stored in Azure Blob Storage. The idea being that whenever there is a temperature more than 27 degrees Celsius, that data or that information will be generated and streamed by using Stream Analytics and stored under Azure Blob Storage. So with that, let me just flip over to the Azure portal and I'm logged in with my global admin credential. And the first step will be to create an IoT hub for which I can search for the service in the global search bar. I'm going to create a new resource group and all this information will be under one resource group with the name IoT RG. And you need to provide a name for the IoT Hub and it has to be unique. My region of preference will be Canada Central. And for this tutorial, I'm going to keep the tier to be free. That should be good for our demonstration. Restore all the settings. I'm going to take the default and let's review and create. In this IoT Hub under Device Management, we are going to add the device. And uh, this is just a digital representation of basically the Raspberry Pi simulator that we're going to use. I'm going to take all these default and click on the Save button. So my device was created successfully. If I go and expand this, I'll be needing this connection string to tie up my IoT Hub with the Raspberry Pi simulator. So I'm just going to copy this and let's move to the next step, which is to create a storage account. And this will be a blob storage and we'll be creating a container underneath. I'm going to keep the public access as private and let's create this container. So the create the container was also created successfully. And let's now move to the step number three, which is creating a stream analytics job. For the hosting environment, I'm going to keep this as cloud. And for the streaming units, I will leave the default, which is three, but you can always increase the size as per your requirement. Rest everything remains same and let's click on create. Let's go inside our stream analytics job and under job topology, we're going to add input and output. So let's go and expand this 
and for the input it is going to be the IoT Hub, the one that we just created. And you need to provide the name for the input. And uh, let's select the IoT Hub from the subscription. I only have one, which is my hub 7777. And let's click on the save button. successful and still remaining under job topology let's also add the output and this output will be the storage account so let's pick the blob storage and let me add the storage account that we just created which is my account here And the container is my container and for the authentication mode i'm going to use the system aside manager identity and let's also save this so our output was also created successfully and let's now add the query and here we're going to change the selection for into and from so basically our input and output and we're going to add another line. So let me first add the line, which is when the temperature on that Raspberry Pi simulator is more than 27 degree, we should be sending that data using Stream Analytics job and that will be stored under the blob storage. All right, so let's change the from Now let me save this query. Now I'll go to the overview and let's start this. And I'm going to start this job right away. So it's starting the stream analytics job. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my Raspberry Pi simulator and under the line 15, I'm going to add that connection string under the device that we created. So let me just provide that to connection string settings here. And I'm going to run this now. All right, so as you can see that the message was sent to the IoT Hub. And after a while, I should see some activity on the storage account. Let's go inside the container and see if there is any activity. And you can see that uh, we have uh, something going on under the storage account. So this data should be streamed through the stream analytics job. And if I just go and edit this, you can see that uh, I have some activity from our Raspberry Pi simulator. And you remember the query, basically, it was saying that any temperature which is more than 27, it should send that information to the blob storage container and all this activity is registered. So with this, we can see how we can utilize and analyze the data or real-time data by utilizing Azure Stream Analytics job. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.